Uh, our next comedian is a senior. He is one of our veterans. He is the president of the organization. So I think you guys all have to stand uh, as he takes the stage. I'm not sure. What's the rule on that? Um, bow. 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 Okay. Uh, Jared, do you have Hail to the Chief queued up? No, I have Lo-Fi Beats queued up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, shit, I forgot my introduction for you. Probably wasn't funny. No, nah, probably wasn't. Your age is showing. What's showing? Your age. <laughs> what? Also, also your hearing. <laughs> it's not, I'm not even going to do the joke because it's not worth it after all that. So please welcome to the stage, everybody, Ryan Meyer. Is this thing on? Cool. How's it going, everybody? Yeah. We got a lot of good fucking comedians out here tonight. Let's give it up for our two new members. They fucking killed it. Ah, that's better. Like Jay mentioned, I am a senior. Uh, I've been here for a while. President of Upchuckles, Democ democratically elected by about the four people that were in the club last year. Uh, but no, as being a senior, I have a couple tips that I want to give you guys for any freshmen or for the rest of you undergrad that are in here. And so, um, just consider these as you go throughout the, the rest of the semester and the rest of your time here at Truman, or anywhere else. Uh, classes go by a lot faster when you show up 20 minutes late. Uh, if you're debating on going out drinking or studying for a test, go out drinking, because you can always take the class next semester. My transcript looks like you're opening up a web page. Except after the dot. There's about 10 more W's. Uh, the worst thing you can do in your time here at Truman is ever use something like Chegg to cheat your way through college. Quizlet will do the same thing, and it's free. Uh, and the last one, one of my favorites, is if, if you ever need to go to the rec and you don't have an extra pair of shoes, just take off your shoes that you're wearing and walk in. They won't care. I will warn you, it is very, very hard to squat in high heels, though. All right. Let me hear from the freshmen in the audience. We got any freshmen in here? Woo! Okay. God damn, it's like half of you. Cool. Thanks for popping out. Uh, you, here in the middle. I'm going to call you out. What's your name? Me? Yeah, you. My name's Jenny. Jenny? Yeah. You're a freshman, right? Yeah. Cool. Where are you, uh, where are you housed at? West Campus. West Campus. I lived in West Campus Woo! my freshman year, too. Let's go, West Campus. Wolves. All right. Spirit. You like your roommates? Yeah, you like me? <laughs> oh, is that them? They're right here, yes. Do you have any problem with them? At all? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Are they shit roommates sometimes? You can tell me, it's okay. Then, I'll keep it between us. Um, one of our roommates moved out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, which means one of you guys has got the room to yourself. <laughs> Let's go, I was in that position. Yeah. What's your name? Kenzie. Kenzie, do you like your roommates? These two. Are they kind of shit? Are they shit sometimes? Do they do anything that pisses you off? Oh, it's okay. You can keep it between me and you. <laughs> I have to walk back with Jenny. You have to walk back with Jenny. Okay. She's afraid of me. We can talk about that later, then. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. That is not what I meant by <laughs> No, uh, taken, by the way. Happily taken. Uh, I've been having a problem with my roommates lately, which is every time that we, uh, we have our shower downstairs, and every once in a while it just clogs up because my roommate sheds like a fucking dog. But I have found a solution to this, but that has also led to a new problem. You see, in order to fix the clogging problem, I had to just take a plunger and just go at it for like a good 10 minutes, and it eventually unclogs. But the only plunger in our house is upstairs. So every time that our shower is clogged, I have to go upstairs, grab the plunger, look the woman in my house in the eyes, and say, it's not what you think. I don't take massive shits. I mean, like, unless, unless massive shits are cool, it's, that's, that's not the point of me grabbing the plunger. But I'm grabbing the, the shower is clogged. No, 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 I, I didn't shit in the shower. That's, that's, that is not what's going on. See, 
It's, it's, it's just hair. It's not my hair that's in the shower. It's just, no, no, no. It is my hair. I, it's not anybody else's hair. I'm not stealing other people's hair and just like playing with it in the shower. That would be a weird thing to do. Your hair is safe. You don't have to worry about me taking your hair in the middle of the night or anything like that. That would, that would, that, you don't have to worry about that. And the entire time that I'm just trying to save myself and digging myself deeper and deeper into a hole, the look of disgust just gets worse and worse on her face. And me being naked probably didn't help the situation either. <laughs> another issue I had with another one of my roommates is that I walked in the, the house one time and the whole place just smelled like absolute shit because of a bowl of milk that was left out for a while. And I walk in and I'm like, dude, this place smells like shit. It's probably that milk over there. And he says, do you think it was bad when I poured it out? And I said, no, it was probably fucking bad when you left it out for the past week. <laughs> Some advice that I have gotten is to just push all of the fucking dishes that he leaves out into his room. But the motherfucker already does that. He just hoards all the dishes in his room. Every morning I wake up and there's a 90% chance I will have to eat my cereal on a plate. <laughs> you know what the other 10% is? I get nothing. <laughs> ah, I got it. Moving on. I don't remember where I was. Late. Late? The plate. The plate. That, yeah, I know. I just said that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, where were we? All right, who was here at our last show? Anybody? All right. Well, obviously you guys. Yeah, thank you. We got some people in the audience. Cool. Cool. You guys should come out to more shows more often if you haven't, because obviously we're fucking killing it right now. Am I right? Round of applause. Round of applause. Yeah. Uh, so for those of you that weren't at our last show, um, there were one, of, one of our members pulled me aside at the end of the show and said, Hey, did you realize that there was a cop in the audience? <laughs> and normally that wouldn't be important, but I, my, my set talked a lot about doing hard drugs. And so I said, no, I was not aware of the cop in the audience. So I just wanted to make it clear tonight that uh, as someone that has graduated at the top of his class in the D.A.R.E. program back in fifth grade, I myself do not par uh, partake in any drugs or narcotics. No, but drugs, I don't even, I don't even, know, I don't even know what a drug looks like. I'm, uh, I'm so anti-drug that just, just this, this, the, the word drug itself is enough to just freeze me. And it's not because of the drugs I'm on. <laughs> uh, no, but um, anyways, I was thinking that the police should really just be thanking me in a way. Because if, you know, criminals were out and about, you know, committing these crimes, then they wouldn't have a job, right? Who's going to pay them if there's no crime? So, uh, I got pulled over last month, and the cop comes up to my window, you know, he gives me the usual mumbo-jumbo, and he's like, sir, do you know how fast you were going? And I was like, yeah, 98, you're welcome. <laughs> bump it, brother. And so he gave me a fist bump, and he walked off. No, I'm kidding, he uh, put a handcuff on me. Especially, uh, apparently you're not supposed to be doing 98 and a 20. It is, it is frowned upon here in the state of Missouri. <laughs> Bunch of snowflakes. <laughs> How's classes going for you guys, your freshmen out here? I hate it. First, oh, tell me about it. God, I'm a, I'm a uh, senior. So I've been here for at least eight semesters, right? Maybe more. And I also hate it. It's, I think it's crazy how college has just taken me from, like, in high school, I was so upset at myself if I got a B. But now in college, I'm just happy that I don't kill myself. <laughs> That's not a bad thing to say either. I can say that. My brother killed himself, so like, don't worry about it. I'm justified in saying that. But uh, every time that I'm in a really down situation and I'm feeling bad, I always remember this one inspirational quote that really applies to all of us. And it's, uh, we did not come here to fear the future. We came here to shape it. That's not a joke. That's a, that's a real quote. That is, from, that is a quote from Barack Obama. And in that same speech, he went on to say, I have now been in 57 states. I think I have one more to go. And it's funny to me how we hold these people to such a high standard when really they're just dumb, if not more dumb than we are. And they're just in positions of power. 
And uh, now I would like to share some of my other favorite quotes from leaders over this country. Uh, I am not worried about the deficit. The deficit is big enough to take care of itself. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. <laughs> A zebra does not change its spots. <laughs> Al Gore. <laughs> You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. Joe Biden. Not often is it asked enough. Is our children learning? George W. Bush. Someone out there knows it. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful, and so are we. They never stop thinking about the new ways to harm our country and our people. And neither do we. George W. Bush. A low voter turnout is an indication of fewer people voting. George W. Bush. Jade, you're gonna love this one. The problem with the French is that they don't have a word for entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is a French word. Uh, George W. Bush. I know, this is my last one, I know that human beings and fish can coexist peacefully. Everybody say it with me. One, two, three, Albert Einstein. I'm fucking with you, it's George W. Bush. And so that's got me thinking that whenever I'm feeling dumb or really stupid, it may just be I have a very promising career in politics. All right, thank you guys so much. Keep it going for Ryan. Come on. Oh, I remember the days when we used to make fun of George W. Bush and thought, no, I can't get any worse than this. Don't tempt fate, people. You will live to regret it.